A good morning, everyone. Welcome back here on this Thursday. Yeah, let's check in with Aaron and see what the forecast is looking like today. Right, we're still expected to see those temperatures remaining warm for November standards as we make a high, uh, run back near 40 degrees. Of course, starting off this morning, we've got a wind chill of 27 in Anchorage, 33 in Adak. It uh, feels like 9 degrees in Anaktuvik, 5 degrees in Ukiavik, 17 in Fairbanks. Uh, meanwhile, out towards southeast, those wind chills sitting uh, in the 30s and the 40s. We're going to continue to hold on to those temperatures warming back into the upper 30s and lower 40s later today. Uh, clouds will quickly thicken up into the afternoon hours, and you can see those wind chills also staying uh, below freezing for much of our Thursday. By late afternoon, uh, we will begin to see those wind chills somewhat uh, increase above that freezing mark, but only briefly uh, as we see that sun setting uh, this evening, we are going to see those cooler conditions uh, making a return. Watching this area of low pressure in the northern uh, Pacific Ocean that's keeping rain from the southern coastline out towards the Aleutians as well as southwest Alaska. Uh, and that's going to lead to uh, inland locations of south central seeing a better shot for some rain as we welcome in the overnight hours on into uh, your Friday. Now with that area of low pressure, uh, we are seeing some breezy conditions from King Salmon out towards King Cove uh, as you head towards St. Paul as well as Adak where those uh, winds have been gusting upwards of about 40 miles per hour. Uh, even seeing some breezy conditions across the northwest Arctic borough. Uh, that's where most of the winds are confined to this morning. Now with that being said, uh, there is a wind advisory through the interior. Uh, this includes the uh, flatlands out towards the central interior starting uh, later this evening, lasting through Saturday Day with northeasterly winds gusting to 45 miles per hour. And of course, we also have a winter weather advisor for the Susitna Valley. We'll get to that here in the next couple of minutes. But that comes, uh, that winter weather advisory for uh, the Susitna Valley comes as we are expecting to see rain uh, build northward through the overnight hours on into tomorrow. Notice by 3 to 4 a.m., uh, we began to see inland locations with some areas of a light wintry mix. Now, where we're going to see those temperatures drop below freezing. And that is where we're going to see that better potential for some freezing rain to accumulate. Uh, so take note of that by the time you get out on the roads tomorrow, uh, out towards the Copper River Basin, expecting more snowfall, if not a light area of some wintry mix, as temperatures will stay below freezing uh, for much of the Copper River Basin. And this active weather pattern keeping wintry mix stays with us on into the weekend. We've got some dense fog with some drier conditions across southeast today. Uh, 44 in Haines, 53 in Sitka, and uh, as well as uh, Ketchikan, and 45 degrees uh, in Juneau across South Central. Heavy rain once again near Kodiak, uh, where we'll see a high of 48 degrees. The southern coastline seeing the better potential for those highs to warm uh, into the mid to upper 40s. You can see Kenai and Soldotna, the lower 40s, uh, with some increasing clouds and some PM rain through Prince William Sound. Uh, Golcana, 28 degrees, with the overnight low of dropping to 23. This is why we're going to see a better opportunity for some snowfall, if not a brief shot of some wintry mix uh, by tomorrow morning. This is Sitna Valley up under that uh, winter weather advisory for freezing rain as those temperatures drop down near or below freezing, uh, as the air temperature will greatly determine what type of precip we're going to see tomorrow morning. Uh, if we are above freezing, uh, we're going to see just a cold rain. It's those locations where temperatures drop uh, below that freezing mark that we're going to see that potential for some freezing rain into our Friday morning uh, with some rain showers. Set those clocks back this weekend uh, as we uh, uh, gain that extra hour of sleep. Uh, you can see those temperatures drop into the uh, near freezing as we welcome in next week. I love the extra hour of sleep. <laughs>